the Kenai Peninsula wolf was a very large wolf and perhaps one of the largest of the known subspecies. It was classified as a distinct subspecies by Edward Alfonso Goldman in 1941 from its remains. It measured from 1.5 to 2.1 meters or 5 to 7 feet in length from nose to end of tail, 35 to 44 inches shoulder height, and weighed 150 to 200 pounds or 68 to 90.7 kilograms. This will potentially make it the largest known wolf, rivaling the extinct dire wolf Anosiron dirus. The Kenai Peninsula wolf was dependent on the very large moose of the region and Goldman proposed that its large size was an adaptation to this. The Smithsonian Museum holds a specimen of the subspecies numbered USNM147471. Wolves were common on the Kenai Peninsula before 1900, however, in 1895, gold was discovered there. Miners, fearing rabies, commenced poisoning, hunting, and trapping of these wolves, and by 1915, they had been exterminated from the region. The Kenai Peninsula wolf was officially declared extinct in 1925. A repopulation of wolves from other areas onto this peninsula did not occur until the 1960s. It has been shown through DNA studies that, at a minimum, the current population of wolves on the peninsula made it with other Alaskan subspecies as the structure of the current wolf population's DNA is similar to other mainland Alaskan subspecies.